I've never had it before, famous in Sri Lanka, but it's definitely one of my favorite foods. <laughs> Hey, I'm Kieran, and this is my better half, Maddie. We both decided to leave the UK at the start of 2023 to follow our dreams and go travelling full time. This is our Sri Lanka series. Right, guys, so we are leaving Dambulla today. We are heading to Jaffa. Now. It's about a five hour journey. So just before we set off, I'm going to go jump in the pool and cool down. Bye guys! So we were just stopped by police, they were not as friendly as the Jambu officers and didn't offer us any rosa pulls but they were still fine and just checked our license and it was absolutely fine. Yes, yeah, so we're about half an hour away from Jaffna now. It's been a really tough drive, like I feel like we've been driving for absolutely ages because the roads are so straight. And it's really flat here actually and we've not seen many restaurants so I think we're just going to get straight to Jaffna and try and find some food. Right guys so the search for a hotel has finally finished we've found a place that's about two or three kilometers outside of Jaffna it took us absolutely ages to find somewhere because the places we checked out before were one either not nice or two pretty expensive I'd say overall for hotels Jaffna has been the most expensive for accommodation but here we are um, I think we're going to probably just get our luggage off the bike, chuck it in the room, maybe have a shower because we're so dirty. Being on the bike all day is just, yeah, the, the dust, the pollution. You can imagine, like, yeah, I'm pretty uh, sweaty and, and dirty at the moment. But my first impressions of Jaffna is that it's pretty hectic. Like, there's plenty of traffic on the, the roads, pedestrians. Um, but I think it'll be nice just to get into the town and see what it's like there. We haven't seen any tourists yet, so we'll see if we can spot some. Right guys, so we've just had a quick shower, we've got changed and we're feeling ready to go out. We're super hungry because we didn't actually stop for lunch today and I really miss Dossa. The last time I had it was in Candy and it's really known to be so good in Jaffna. So hopefully we can find a place that does Dossa and have some delicious food. So we have came to a Dossa restaurant. I'm so excited to be trying Dossa again. Our host from the accommodation was staying and actually recommended it to us. So we drove straight here. It took us about 10 minutes, but because we've not had it for such a long time, we've definitely gone all in for it. So we've got the one G onion masala dosa, the one masala dosa, and then the one paper masala dosa. I think that's right, isn't it, Maddie? Yeah, that's yeah. right. So we're looking for it. So I can't wait for it to arrive as we're both so hungry now. And yeah, we love dosa. Oh my god, look at the size of that. It's huge. It's so hungry. But we got sambal. I don't know what the sausages are actually. I'll just try them. I'm not sure what they are. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but... but it's pretty apparent that we've got three huge dossas here. Good. So I think this one here is a masala dosa. Maybe open that up in the middle, Maddie. See what it's like. Oh my god, it's huge. Oh my god. Yeah, we will. I'm starving. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. I don't know if this is masala. What is this? No, they all look the same, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Good? Same as candy or better? It's different, that's for candy, I think. It's different, but it's good. 
Right, so I'm going to dig straight into this. Right in the middle. Look at that. Bit of uh, sambal on it. Oh my god. So good. I miss butter a lot. I never had it before then to Sri Lanka, but it's definitely one of my favorite foods. Unbelievably tasty. But the size of it is mm. huge. Martin. We ordered three of these. Yeah. But yeah, they're huge. Do you think we're going to finish it all? Yeah, I'm starving. How are you going on? Amazing, but I think three is not a possibility. Yeah, we ordered too much. I can't finish mine. Still got a whole one there. And Kieran's struggling. So I think I finished mine, finished Maddie's, and then see if we can take this middle one out. What's the English saying? My eyes are bigger than my stomach? Better, yeah. That's what happened. We were so hungry and I just wanted to order everything off the menu. <laughs> now we're taking this back. I absolutely love salsa. Like, oh, it's such a tasty dish. I wonder how many people, like Sri Lankan people out there, how often would you eat salsa? It's really heavy. Like, yeah. Also, this is super cheap. So all of this, so the mm. dosa, the masala dosa, the one I had was 300. Yours was 440, mm. and this is 440, so just over 1,000 rupees. Yeah, 1,100. What's the drink sandwich in total, did you say? I'm not 100% sure, about 1,500 for all of this. Yeah. Super cheap. Which is two drinks and three huge dots. Yeah, three meals, basically. So good, like, yeah. Money well spent. So although we've left Dambulla and now we're in Jaffna, the search for the elephant pants continues. So we've came to a new store here and let's see what they have. Yeah, yeah. It's like a pretty good selection. I think you're too small for Sri Lanka. Like elephant pants? Ah. Ele elephant pants? Elephant pants? Yeah. With elephant design maybe? New city but same result, still no elephant pants. The search continues. One yeah, why not? Yeah, one kilo. As long as they're ready. As long as they're good to eat in the next oh, couple of days. Mm -hmm. Nice shot. Mm. I don't think there's a fruit you don't have, right? Every fruit. Oh, every... <laughs> it's a nice store. I, I must admit, I like the mango here. It's normally the most expensive fruit, but it's really tasty. What's your name? Man. Nice to meet you. Oh, He's finding the bat of watermelon. He knows. He's a fruit man. <laughs> Two fifty, yeah, no problem. It's gonna be in the it's going to be in the thousand, isn't it? Yeah. The first one's 600 something. 600 something, yeah. So two, 250. Ah, thank you. That's very kind. Thank you. What's the total? It's going to be about 900, but they gave us a free one, so we'll give them. Take. 1,000. Thank you. Right guys, so we have made it back to our homestay. We just wanted a pretty relaxing evening tonight as we had such a long day traveling here to Jaffna and we were both were exhausted. But we had some delicious food, the dosa was really nice and we're looking forward to exploring Jaffna tomorrow, seeing the different temples they have to offer and also trying some more delicious food. So we will see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning guys, so it's our first full day in Jaffna today. We're looking forward to exploring, trying some different food. So we're starting with breakfast. So we've got spring hoppers with some coconut sambal. Uh, we also have some, it's, it's similar to a potato curry. Uh, they recommend it on top of the sambal. So we'll give I think that that's pumpkin and potato there. Ah yeah, pumpkin, sorry. Yeah, it is. And then we also have some coconut milk. Slightly sweet, I think. I'll try it. 
So yeah, this is a very traditional uh, breakfast known especially in Jaffna. So we'll give this a try and we'll try some more local foods later on in the day. So we also have the dal padipur. Correct me if I'm wrong on pronunciation here, leave it in the comments. We also have some papaya, some mango, and of course we can't go anywhere without our famous jambu. It's time to go and explore Jaffna. Right guys, so lunch has arrived. Today we have biryani. I was wanting to order the utapan, I think it was called. Correct me in the comments, but it was a tricky one for me to pronounce. But they say it's only served after five o'clock, so I've gone for the biryani. So here it is. I think we've got some, it looks to me like maybe like a potato curry or something like that. Some onions, probably some form of chilli I'd imagine. And I'm not sure what these are. Chickpeas. Chickpeas? Okay, chickpeas. They maybe look like they've been like, I don't know, they're just coated slightly. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to go with the knife, um, sorry, for the spoon with this one. Mm. It's good. Now I know this is um, India, but it's also quite big in Jaffna. And I want to eat as much food from Jaffna over the next few days. So yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. Now it cost us only 450 rupees. Maddie's not feeling too hungry. But for one dish of this size, for 450 rupees, is a bargain. So it's a thumbs up from me. Nandri. Delicious. Come again. I will come again. Nandri. Apparently Jaffna is also famous for its ice cream. So I'm going to go up and order something. Hello. What do you recommend? Ice cream? Which one? Here we are. Let's have a look what they have. Oh, you have coffee. Coffee one. good? Good? Good. Okay, Nalam, Nalam. <laughs> no, one, one. <laughs> Four too many. <laughs> one, please. Nalam, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Nandri. Right, so we've gone for a coffee, ice cream. Uh, 400 rupees, so seems a good price as well. So I'm looking forward to it to come in. I'm pretty full after that biryani, but I wanted to try the uh, ice cream here in Jaffna. So this, uh, this is what we get for 400 rupees. It uh, looks like um, soup. Yeah, it's um, it's a little runny, but it's because it's so warm here. That's not bad value for me. We even come with a wafer, coffee ice cream, and it's actually not bad at all. I'd say it's pretty similar to the coffee ice cream I've had before, even as high end as maybe Italy, you could say. Just a touch sweeter, which I guess is normal in Sri Lanka. But I'm going to give it a maybe a 7 out of 10. We have just arrived at some kind of cool place. Somebody messaged me on Instagram to come and check this place out. It's two forts, one for a man, one for a woman. So Kieran's going to go in. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my swimming suit. But we're just going to go check it out. I think it's like a hot spring. So here is the pool. It looks pretty cool. This is the man bit. Are you going in, Kieran? Yeah, let's go. It's actually free, so it's even better. We only had to pay 20 rupees for parking. I'm the only tourist here and it's pretty busy, so I'm getting a lot of stairs right now, but let's go do it. Kieran's chatting to the local people about cricket and they're taking loads of photos and selfies with him, which is really lovely. Here in Jaffna, people are really lovely. They're definitely not as used to the tourists as the other parts in Sri Lanka, and they get stared at quite a lot. But they're still really, really nice, and they make an effort to come and speak to you, which is really lovely. What do you think? Ah, uh, really nice. So really nice people as well. I've been having a good chat. You made and it's so refreshing. Yeah, you made some friends. Are they from Jaffna? No, 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 no. They're from Bandarela, Punaragala. So they're, they're Sinhala speaking. Did you speak to them in Sinhala? Chuta chuta. <laughs> nice. What do we call this? Atarang. Atarang. Ah. Sri Lanka. Stuti. Stuti. <laughs> Mama, 
Hindu temple. I think it's called Nar Na Nalar, Nalar temple. So somebody told us that if you come at around six o'clock, they do some sort of ceremony. So we're going to go check it out. I'm really excited. So we have just entered the temple grounds. We're just going to have a good look around before we go in. I don't think we're allowed to film inside. So um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's going to be any footage from the inside. Um, but yeah, yesterday we spoke to our host and he said that there are over 70% Hindus in Jaffna, 20% Christian and 10% Muslim. And it's very cool that we have made it here on the weekend because the ritual only happens on the weekend. So yeah, we're really lucky. Um, also, if you come here in summertime, I think August, there is a festival that happens and there is hundreds of thousands of people here on this ground. And um, what's the festival called? I can't remember the exact name, but it was something like Carden, Cardenever? Yeah, Cardenever. Cardenever. Yeah, so that is when mostly males have their body pierced, like big, massive piercings through their body, like neck, shoulders, um, nose, mouth, pierced with piercings. And their body is actually gets carried, like yeah. it's tied up on the rope. Uh, through the piercings and he gets to carry them like a tractor or whatever and it's the kind of they praying to God maybe they're having a hard time in life or something going on going on in their life or they just want to show their respect to God um, yeah they pierce their bodies and I think that is crazy unfortunately we're not going to be here for that time but maybe we can make it in India yeah it looks pretty extreme but I'm sure it'd be really nice to experience so yeah, if you guys are from India and you know that this festival might be happening in the next two months, let us know because we, we would love to make it. I'm from Ghana. Really? Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I'm used to living in England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. Oh, wow. Oh, your English is very good. Yeah. <laughs> really good, yeah. So inside, what's happening inside? It's, it's, it's a puja is doing. Oh, yeah. So puja is the people that like live in... in it's like monks in, um, in Buddhism, but you have like... That in Hindu as well. Hindu and Puja, it's, yeah, it's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Is a female allowed inside? A female allowed, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then and man, man go in and take it out there. Take off the shirt. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Is the show respect? It is. Yeah. Oh, very and cool. What's the reason you uh, smash the coconuts? The master coconut, I I had to spraying is our uh, is is meaning like uh, I splash it from yeah the splashing here. Ah. Uh. They splashing me. I have. Ah, oh, oh, okay. Here. I see. Oh, yeah. Cool. Thank you so much for Thank sharing. Thank you also, yeah. You. temple what did you think Aaron? yeah i really enjoyed that it was such a cool experience like we said before going in we've not really experienced anything like that so far in sri lanka so it was really nice to see and i felt like we embraced it we pretty much uh, copied what the locals did so we stood in the queue and as you left you got like a, i think it was like a sweet coconut milk sort of drink and, and then like rice yeah and then like rice with something which um was not the tastiest but it was nice to sort of uh embrace the the religion yeah, I guess. Yeah it was like a blessing so it was really yeah. really nice and the detail in the temple I've mm. never seen anything like it I've been to many temples but I've <laughs> not seen anything like this so it was really really amazing. Yeah it was stunning so if you are in Jaffna I highly recommend visiting. Especially if you are coming August time for the festival because everyone is talking about it everyone is saying how amazing mm. it is so yeah please do come to the festival and let us know how it goes. So it is the battle of the Jaffna Dossa. Maddie has gone for the Masala Dossa once again. She had it yesterday, of course. So she's going to try this one. 
and see which one is the best. I already know. This one. Really? Yeah. Why? It's less greasy. It's really nice. It's less greasy. I like it. So I have gone for the otter for fam. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It was the dish that I tried to have earlier on today, but they said it's only served after five o'clock. So I'm trying it this evening. Looks like pizza. It does. Yeah. The guy said it looks like a pizza and it really does. The one thing I like about it so far is I prefer the thicker dossa to the paper dossa and this is quite thick. So I like um, the fact that there's a bit, it's thicker really. Try it with some of this. It's very temperature. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. It's got like a, like a popper texture like underneath and it's got plenty of vegetables on top yeah it's really good i'll try this one Go on. more sauces thank you yeah yeah thank you very much oh lovely thank you more curries really good really good yeah ah, and no. this is sambal right yes oh really good sambal thank you Nandere. Nandere. yeah so i'm really impressed i give this a good eight out of ten So guys, this is it for Jaffna vlog. What did you think, Kieran? Yeah, it was really nice. It was cool to experience something different in Sri Lanka. We've obviously been in the Sinhala regions the whole time we've been here, plus Aragon Bay, which you see a few Tamil people, but to come to Jaffna was really nice. Different landscape, different people, different food, all of which we really enjoyed. So I definitely recommend coming, although it is a pretty long journey, which I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. But yeah, overall, I had a great experience here. What about you? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. At first, I wasn't sure, but today we had the whole day exploring and I really enjoyed it. And I would definitely recommend if you've got the time to come this far up because it is so far from anything else. But yeah, I really enjoyed it and I would, I would come again. So make sure you check out Jaffna. That is it for this vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Three, two, one. Bye, 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 bye for now. now.